coaching at some little universities, the Chief Grove Berry College, Creighton University, and Stanford University. You might have heard that last one. He's been a national staff coach in the NSCAA and the U.S. Soccer, intercollegiate and professional playing experience, NCAA Division I National Coach of the Year, little award, and multiple conference Coach of the Year awards. He has over 30 years of youth coaching experience. <coughs> so if you guys do not use and abuse him, it's your loss. This man has a lot to offer. We're teaching double goal coaching. It is our, our culture and our program, the Positive Coaching Alliance, that this is how we want you to be a coach. It's a positive coaching alliance that we're all about. Okay, guys, it's all yours. Thanks, Elvie. Thank you. Welcome, thank you all for being here. Um, Melody, thanks for, for inviting us, and, and uh, I'm very excited about this. Uh, she, she listed some things that I, I've had the opportunity to do in the past, but the thing I'm most proud of is my youth coaching experience. And youth coaching experience is not just the sport of soccer, which I've coached in college, but particularly in baseball. And I feel that the most challenging thing I did as a coach was be a volunteer coach of kids who are 8, 9, 10 years old in Little League Baseball. And so, uh, so I think we have some things in common. You may do better than I, I did my first try, um, but we'll, we'll work together tonight. Uh, you all have a copy of this book, right? Good. You've all signed in on the iPad. Yes, yes, yes. You all have name tags, and since I don't have my glasses on, they'll be of limited use to me, but maybe um, they'll help each other. Do you know each other? Some. There were some, 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 some here for the most part. Okay. Um, some were brand new. So some were brand new. Some were brand new. Okay. Who's brand new here? Great. One, two is the first go around in this league. Well, welcome. Good so luck. See if anybody um, has signed it. Let's. Gonna walk I'll tell you what. Let's do this. The people who are new, give it please tell us who you are and where you're coaching. Who you're coaching. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Start over here. Well, it's my second year, so. Go ahead. I'm Mark Freed. My second year in the league. Okay. Who, who else is new? Eddie Miranda. Um, first year here as coaching. Where did say your team in your league? Over the Sand Maps. Yeah. I'm with Mark. Triple A. Okay. I'm Cliff Carlson. First year, Double uh, uh, A, Rock Hills. Okay. I'm Matthew Zemarepa. Triple A is uh, Scrapers. Scrappers. 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 Scrappers.
what positive coaching is about, what this organization is about. Then we're going to introduce three principles to the core principles of Positive Coaching Alliance. And then we're going to show you how to implement those and help you with those. And then we're going to go through scenarios and we're just going to go and open it up basically to what you want to talk about. Things that you've seen maybe already in your experience or if you're new or if you're a player, things that you saw as a player and maybe help us all. So we're going to kind of turn it over to you and see what we can do. All right. Um, first of all, if you look on page 8 in your book, if this book is new to you, or if it's old and you haven't gone through it in a while, there's some incredible stuff in here, the great stuff that I would use with a college team and certainly with a youth team. On page 8, there's a list of, uh, a partial list of advisory board members. And you see some, some names that might look familiar in there. Um, from great athletes, great coaches, some people outside the coaching or the sports community that really made an impact in the world. And one of them is about to speak to you right now. I want to say some thank yous to a lot of coaches in my life who had positive impact in, 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 throughout my career. Uh, some of the most important ones and most impactful ones are my Little League football coaches. Uh, those are the places where you have no idea the impact you can have on a young person's life. And it doesn't necessarily have to be about going pro, or even going to college, or even playing in high school. The impact that sports coaches in Little League have on, on, the, on the future trajectory of young people is, is immense. You know, as much as Bill Walsh had a tremendous impact on me, and Mike Shanahan, and Mike Holmgren, and Lavelle Edwards, some of the more famous coaches, huge impact on my adult life. How about the impact that Jack Schlegel had, or Tim Grimstich had on me, or Mike Ornato in high school? I mean, I don't know that it's not more, because the trajectory, again, what you learn from young coaches, uh, from coaches when you're young, and how to behave, and how to play well, and how to be, you know, work through tough, tough challenges. And so I have to say thank you to so many. Great, great. You like Steve Young? All right, good. good. We like Steve Young, too. We like what he represents uh, for, for coaches and for youth coaches. What are some of the things that you heard from him that maybe uh, makes sense to you, resonate with you? Anything there about youth coaching? Yes, about how you know, guys are level have such a big impact on, on Steve Young. Yeah, big impact. His youth coach, he said even more than the Bill Walsh's and Mike Shanahan's. Yeah. Uh, how do you describe that? He used the word trajectory. What do you think he meant by that? Where is that, Mike? The impact when someone is still forming what they're going to be like in life, what they're trying to do, what they do through sports, and that early coach can have a huge impact. Okay. Anything else there that made sense? Anything else interesting? Okay, well I want you to think about, I want you to think about a coach you had, could be as a youth, could be maybe when you're older. If you haven't had a coach, you can consider it has had an important impact on your life. Perhaps it's a teacher or some other adult when you were when you were younger. I want you to think about that that person and maybe why. And what was it special? Was special about them? Why they made such a big impact? Okay. You can think of someone. Been involved in sports usually you can. Okay. What I'd like you to do is get with one other person. We end up with a threesome somewhere that's okay. But if you get with another another person sitting near you, and I'd like you to tell each other about that person and what made them so influential. I'll give you just one minute, so knock it out. Go ahead. Go on, you three. I'm going to have to Thank <laughs> you. 